Tracy. 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 It's launch day for version 57 of our flying machine and Seamus isn't around to help. Where is he? Ooh, yeah! Seamus? Scout yeah, Tracy, coming through! Seamus! Tracy, look, isn't it fantastic? Yeah, nice skateboard, Seamus. Skateboard? This is no skateboard. It's a Groove Glide Thrustmaster. Wow, what's that? It's the ultimate in skateology. I've been saving forever to buy it. It's pretty cool, all right, Seamus. It's better than cool, Tracy. It's my life. Seamus, quick! The flying machine! There's no time to lose. A northeast wind, 23 knots, perfect launching conditions. But I want to ride my groove glide. You can ride that anytime. With this replica Leonardo flying machine, we'll get an A plus for our science project. A B for my potato battery is a lot less hassle. Oh, it's not in the same race, Seamus. Commence pre-flight checklist. Engine. Check. Wings. Check. Pilot. Oh, that's me. Check. Tail. Tail? <gasps> Seamus, stop! I forgot the... Tail. Seamus? 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 Are you all right? What? Yeah. Great! It was an accident. Anyone could forget the tail, couldn't they? No worries, it's okay. Oh, no! Don't worry about the plane, Seamus. We could always build another one. It was probably just the wheels. Now, if I increase the diameter to bearing ratio by... Forget the stupid plane! Look at my Thrustmaster! Uh-oh. It's a total wreck. This is all your fault, Tracy. Oh, mine? But... It was an accident, remember? Look, I'm sure I can fix it up. No, don't! Ugh, touch it! Oops! Thanks for nothing, Tracy! But I never meant. Oh, I didn't mean Seamus! I knew he was angry. It wasn't my fault. An accident like that could happen to anyone. But it was his new board, and I wanted to fix it up. There. Good as new. If you brought it second-hand. Frankly, I think Seamus overreacted. He's got a one-track mind when it comes to skateboards. It's just a blank with wheels. 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 Must get new wheels for flying machine. Gordon Scooter, Megan's pram, Mum's old bike. Wheels everywhere, but nothing that's just right. The perfect wheels just have to be somewhere. If only I could find them. I shouldn't. I mustn't. I couldn't. Oh, just see if they work. Tracy, look, I'm sorry about before. Maybe we could fix my skateboard. <gasps> Seamus, look, your skateboard wheels are perfect. Who said you could use them? No one, but I had this great idea and That's I... it. You only care about your dumb old inventions. We're not friends anymore. It's nothing. Just a little misunderstanding. He didn't mean it. Seamus? Seamus! Seamus, there you are. I hardly saw you all day. Ready for another test flight in the... Seamus, I said... I heard you the first time. Uh, Seamus! Hey! Seamus! Wait for me! I was starting to get the feeling that Seamus was avoiding me. Time for some serious sucking up. That'll do the trick. So, I should have asked Seamus about the wheels. It's no big deal. I'll put his board back together even better than you. And throw in a few little extras. Seamus, over here! Check out your skateboard. It's better than ever, complete with optional McBean features, like retractable headlights, honking horn. Don't hold back. How much do you love it? I'm going to be late for class, Tracy. Something was seriously wrong. Seamus was always a sucker for a suck-up, 
Now he couldn't care less. Well, look here, Jake. It's our old mate, Seamus. Yeah, how are you going, buddy? How are you going, Seamus? Long time no see. Long time? We haven't seen you. What do you want, McConnelly? Oh, don't be like that, Seamus. We heard you busted up with McBean. Thought you might be looking for a new gang to join. Yeah! What gang? Our gang. Oh, yeah, our gang. Yeah, special offer this month only. Free beanie for every new member. And if you join now, you get unlimited use of this box of stuff, including used paint, broken glass, heaps of nails, unlimited use. What do you reckon? What do you reckon, Seamus? I don't know. Come on, Seamus. Try one of the beanies on for size. Hey, that's a great fit, mate. Yeah, it's it, honestly, it's like your head was made for it. Hi, Seamus. Hi, McConnellys. What's with the beanie? Meet the newest member of our gang. Right, Seamus? Well, I haven't actually... As if, McConnellys. Come on, Seamus. There's work to do on the flying machine. Are you going to let her boss you around like that? Yeah, it's work to do the dance machine. <laughs> Miss Bossy Boots. Actually, I think I'll stick with my potato battery. <laughs> what? The potato battery? You can't be serious. I think he's very serious. He's very serious and quite handsome in that beanie. Fine, Seamus. If that's the way you want it, I'll see you around. Get lost, then! <laughs> now move it along, sister. Thanks, guys, but I don't feel much like being in a gang just now. Don't forget, free beanie this month only. They're going fast. No, they're not. We've only got one. No, no. Jake, I'm lying. I just want to trick him into joining our gang. Then we can use him like a slave. Uh, you are sneaky. Jake, I thought you'd know me better by now. You, yeah, that's so it's wicked. It's sneaky. Later that day, Uncle Arthur dropped by. At least I could depend on him, unlike you know who. Great wheels, Uncle Arthur. Just right for my flying machine. They're off my old go-kart. Did you hear about the time I broke the go-kart speed record? No. Broke the go-kart too. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, where's Seamus today? He's usually here to help. If you refer to Seamus Wong, he's now my non-friend. I will speak his name no more. After everything I've done for him, now all he wants to do is ride his skateboard. Maybe he likes his skateboard. And it's not like I meant to break it. Or use his wheels without asking. So why did you? What? Use his wheels without asking. Because I needed them for our invention. He wanted to have a potato battery for our science project. Nothing wrong with a potato battery. I suppose. Want to know what I think? No, but you're going to tell me. You two make quite a team. Be ashamed to bust up now. I suppose... Uncle Arthur was right. We were a team. As smooth as clockwork. If I was the tick, Seamus was the tock. It was boring trying to invent by myself. But I'm not going to be the first to apologise. Nothing to do. Nothing to do. <laughs> A potato battery. A potato battery. Life's so boring without you, Tracy. Let's stop fighting and get back to inventing. But I'm not going to be the first to apologise. Maybe I should turn it on and tell her. Oh, what's the point? She doesn't want to see me again. Shana! Shana! I'm here, Tracy. Talk to me, Tracy. Outside, Shana! Hmm? Look at the sky! Tracy? You bet! Oh, I just want to make one thing clear. I'm not here to apologise. Yeah, well, me neither. Well, you don't have to. It, it wasn't your fault. And you don't have to either. Friends? Forever. In the best flying machine ever. Yeah, it's got everything a flying machine needs. Engine, wings, pilot. And a tail. And a... Tracy, we haven't got a tail! Seamus, <laughs> you're a genius! We're a team, remember? You make the plane, I make the tail. Now we'll just glide to the ground. Tracy, they're alive! Where did they come from? Oh, 
windmill was out near the zoo. It is near the zoo. Tracy, liar! <laughs> Seamus, are you OK? I hate gravity. We did it. Seamus, you and me. We flew it together and we crashed it together. We sure did. It was great to have my best friend back. Hey, Tracy, there's one more thing we should do together. What's that? Right. We're still in the zoo. <laughs> 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 <laughs>